guys it's tcm hotline here back with another video and this one is going to be short and sweet i got six cards in the mail today one ttm but the rest of the five are purchases and they are huge um so let's just get right into it first we'll do the ttm because it's only one of one sent a five dollar donation to hall of famer mick tingleoff longtime viking center and you can see he kind of signed it in a, a weird spot. Not sure why. He's getting up there in age, but the tiny scrunched Hall of Fame inscription, Hall of Fame 15, right there under the signature on an old school card. I will be sending a Philadelphia card I did buy. I think it's, I believe it's a 1967 Philadelphia, so I'll be sending that off with another $10 donation. He's been so good to the TTM community for so long. I don't think he charges, but just to be safe and just to show appreci pr appreciation, I'm going to send $5 for, or $10 for two cards. So a nice blue ink from Mick Tingleoff. And so there is no particular order because these are all ridiculously huge. Um, so we'll go with the quote unquote weakest of the bunch. Yeah, I can't, I can't even really say that, but Gary Zimmerman. He's another one I needed for the Hall of Fame project. With him, that makes it, I believe, 116 out of 346 of getting one autograph for every NFL Hall of Famer. And coming up on Monday, I believe, I will be showing you a mini helmet that I actually traded for to knock off someone on the Hall of Fame project. And actually, this card right here, I didn't even realize this, has a hint as to who it is. Not Gary Zimmerman, but... This car, I can't believe that. That That's crazy. This card actually gives you a hint as to who I got on a mini helmet. If you want to leave your guesses in the comment section below, I'd love to see if you guys could figure out who it is. But Black Ink, Gary Zimmerman, amazing offensive lineman. Both Tingleoff and Zimmerman were longtime Vikings and offensive linemen. And yeah, we'll go with this one. He signs TTM, or he signed TTM okay he sometimes would sign your items and sometimes he would send it back with this pre-signed hall of fame card collector's edition um but legendary quarterback greatest show on turf kurt warner he's one i didn't have for my hall of fame collection see right there on the testimonial card that he sends out to a bunch of people. There's the back. So, Kurt Warner. And then, so, you may not know this, but I'm not a huge baseball guy. But when you have these three names open for trade from someone in the Facebook group, you have to jump on it. Traded some other baseball autographs that I didn't care too much for. But these guys will be staying for the PC for a long time. Um, not sure, but I know which one I'm putting last. But these two can go kind of together. But this guy is a very, very tough TTM to get. Both of these next guys are actually very tough TTM to get. But he does sign. He signed to do spring training. He was very hit or miss. Signed through spring training last year. And when somebody got him through his home address. But that is Barry Larkin. Love these pinnacle cards. Signed right on the jersey. So, he's a Hall of Famer that I really, really enjoy having in the collection. Let's see here. The, the card design is really cool. But, the signature is amazing. Then, we have... So, I have a question. If you could let me know in the comments below what you think of this autograph because usually his autograph is a bit more messy so if you could let me down below let me know down below if you think this is a good autograph but George Brett he does sign TTM very sporadically obviously known for that pine tar incident but amazing ball player kind of streaky signature but let me know if you think this is authentic, because if it's authentic, that's a huge bonus. I mean, I didn't give up too much in the trade at all, and the next card really is what made me do the trade. But look at that, George Brett. 
on a Topps card. Blue ink. Can't beat that. But yeah, let me know if you think that is authentic. And last but not least, this one is the whole reason why I did the trade. Absolutely ecstatic to get this back. Or, or get this as a huge Yankees fan. It may be on a Mets card, but when you think of this guy, you think of Yankees. How about this? Yogi Bear autograph. Blue ink. Look at that. Yogiisms all over the place. Insane car. This one's gonna be staying with me for a whole lot of the whole long time. And hopefully I'm gonna get it slabbed by PSA. And if you guys think if enough of you guys think that Brett is authentic, I'm gonna send that one in as well. Definitely gonna send the Larkin in, but Yogi Berra. Yankees legend. Insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys could subscribe, that would mean the world to me. And if there's anything else you want to see me do on this channel, whether it be live, more live TTM reveals, Hall of Fame project update, just let me know in the comments below. I'll try and do everything you guys say. But thanks for the support, and I'll see you next time.